Good day students, this is Sir Reddy and today we are going to describe the particle nature of elements, compounds, and mixtures. Also, classify the different materials if it is an element, compound, and mixture. And lastly, we'll be differentiating physical from chemical change. We can classify matter into several categories. Pure substances and mixtures are two broad categories. A pure substance has a constant composition. They have exactly the same makeup and compositions. We can divide pure substances into two classes, elements and compounds. Pure substances that cannot be broken down into simpler substances by chemical changes are called elements. Iron, silver, and gold are some examples of the more than 100 known elements, about 90 of which occur naturally on the earth, and two dozen or so have been created in laboratories. Compounds are pure substances that can be broken down by chemical changes. This breakdown may produce either elements or other compounds or both. For example, mercury oxide an orange crystalline solid when heated can be broken down into the elements mercury and oxygen silver chloride is a white solid that can be broken down by the absorption of light into its elements silver and chlorine a mixture is composed of two or more types of matter that can be present in varying amounts and can be separated by physical changes such as evaporation. A mixture with a composition that varies from point to point is called a heterogeneous mixture. A very good example of heterogeneous mixture is an Italian dressing. It may include oil, vinegar, and herbs. Another example would be fruit salad. Yeah, that's my favorite. As you can see, different fruits such as apple, peach, grapes, and more. A homogeneous mixture, also called a solution, exhibits a uniform composition and appears visually the same throughout. An example of a solution is a sports drink consisting of water, sugar, coloring, flavoring, and electrolytes mixed together uniformly. Let's try this one. Let us classify the following materials or substances as element, compound, or mixture. Air. What is that? If your answer is mixture, then you are correct. Sugar. If your answer is compound, then you are correct. Gold. If your answer is an element, you are correct. Substances undergo changes when their conditions are changed. A change in condition could be a decrease or an increase in temperature. Matter is characterized by their physical and chemical properties. Physical properties pertain to those that are measured without changing the composition of the substance. These include the color, odor, texture, boiling point, density, etc. Chemical properties can be observed if a chemical reaction has occurred and thus there is a change in the composition of the substance. There are two types of changes, the physical change and chemical change. When a substance undergoes a change without affecting the chemical composition of matter, then it is considered a physical change. Grinding breaking, crushing, bending, 
and changes in the state to matter are examples of physical changes or reversible change. This means that by a way or another, matter can be returned back to its original state. Given examples, melting of ice, dissolving of table salt, cutting of paper, melting chocolate, bending of metals, and water cycle. Chemical change or irreversible process involves a change in the substance chemical composition. That is, new substances are produced. This means that the new substance can be returned back to its original case. Examples are melting of sugar, rotting of fruits, burning of sulfur, photosynthesis process, food digestions, and fermentation. To wrap it up, physical change does not lead to a change in the identity of the substance. Many physical changes are reversible, especially those involved in phase change. Possible signs a physical change has taken place. Change of shape, change of state, change in size, change in any other physical property. A chemical change involves a change in shape and its structure of the substance giving a new substance with the new properties. Possible sign a chemical change occurred. Number one, a change in color. A change in the substance temperature. Light is given off. A gas is produced. And a change in taste. Let's identify the following as physical change or chemical change. One, melting ice. If your answer is physical change, then you are correct. Number two, burning wood. If your answer is a chemical change, then you are correct. Fireworks. If your answer is chemical change, then you are correct. Chopping wood. If your answer is physical change, then you are correct. Shredding of paper. If your answer is physical change, then you are correct again. Lastly, rotting banana. If your answer is chemical change, then you are correct. So that ends our discussion today. Thank you very much for joining me again. And maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong panonood. See you again next time. Bye-bye!